Hello everyone, it's Jamal Thomas. Welcome to the Progressive Soapbox. So, the ridiculously attractive woman that's up here, I don't know which side is showing on the camera, um, that is Nomika Kantz. Nomika Kantz works for TYT as a reporter. You can say TYT Politics, I'm not sure which one, but one of them, TYT or TYT Politics. For the most part, same company. TYT Politics has launched Justice Democrats. Whatever you want to think about it, they launched it with this idea of taking back the Democratic Party. They are Democratic reformists. They're Democratic reformists. Regardless of what happens, they end up voting Democrat. Doesn't matter what the party does. Beat me, slap me, fornicate. I will be here in the morning. I am the Democrat reformist. Now, Mika Kahn's, it pursuant to this, they were working for TLT politics as a reporter. And I need to, as a reporter, because that's what her job is, as a journalist, whatever you want to call it. She's also on the reform committee of the Democratic Party. Now, certainly that's a little weird. You have a journalist who's supposed to be covering the news and is also part of the news because of what that person is doing. One of the base of one of the things that kind of popped out of the allegations about Jordan sexual harassment which I got to be honest, the more this goes on, the less I believe the allegations. Um, I just saw a cabin talk video with one of the women who were there for the orgy. Look, I know it's not easy for her coming out <laughs> explaining that they were having an orgy. I still say, good on you. <laughs> good job. Good fucking job. Good on you. I don't blame you. That's called being a human being. That's called enjoying your life. Um, those people who wag their fingers at you. Pity them. Pity them. Oh, how sad and pathetic that you don't get to have this particular experience. So yeah, pity those people. It's not a bad thing for you to have an orgy. Have fun. One of the things that came out that though, this woman came out and said, look, I've known Jordan for God knows how long. This was not rape. Everybody was having a good time. Whether or not he's a pig or not, that's different. That's different. It just means that in that particular moment, this allegation of rape is not true. Or at least I don't think it is. Moving on from that for the moment, though, in one of the hit pieces, because that's what it was, it was a hit piece, in one of the hit pieces that were released, that was released, associated with this, in this kind of odd tangential way, the woman makes an allegation. She makes an interesting allegation, and it's one that needs to be answered, and it's one about our friend right here, Amika Kantz, the journalist, who's also part of the Reformist Committee. This is the article that Paula Martinez wrote. Now, I have to be very honest with you. I don't like or dislike Jordan. I have no feelings about Jordan anymore that I have, I don't know, as, as the chair in the living room. It's just it's a story to me. But this article came out extraordinarily dickish and just kind of mean. <laughs> like, like, and the reason I call it a hit piece, I, I read it and ended up not liking the person who was writing it. And so I'm not saying it because I have a bias towards Jordan or anything else. I am literally just making this point that I, I, I ended up not liking the author of the piece. Yes, it came across of, okay, this guy may be a bit of a dick when you're interacting with him. That's the way I felt. He may be a bit over the top. He's adding work and sexual content in his life, so it makes it a little murky and weird. All those things might be true. That in no way is indicative of rape. That is no way indicative of sexual assault. Now, it, but this particular part where, yeah, there's no way indicative of rape or no way indicative of sexual assault. That, that's the point I'm trying to make. Um, but she went after him. She went after him. Now, there's one specific part, there's two parts actually, calling Jake Huger and say he fucks off or he jerks off is fucking hilarious. But this part, uh, uh, let's see, let's see if I can show it. Alright, this is the article. This article is immensely long and she goes after all sorts of stuff and a lot of stuff I completely disagree with her on. Some of it is purely her frame of reference in regards to looking at the world. Some of it is slightly aggravating, but of course. I don't necessarily think she made this out of whole cloth. Some of this might be true. Taking this from the standpoint of being ambiguous. Being ambiguous for the moment. I would just ask the question. This came up. I overheard a phone call between 
Ah, uh, that's not it. That's for ragging on. Um, here we go. Jordan and Ty were directly in front of me in the bathroom discussing TYT politics, and Ty was trimming his beard. Ty was trimming his beard when suddenly they shut the door and proclaimed that they were talking on private matters. My interest was piqued, but I tried to ignore the conversation. My son had ear infections, which his ear ears were so of my concern, right? She cared about her son's ear infections. It's this part. That's when I heard Jordan tell Ty, what Nomika is doing is unethical. You can't write speeches for politicians and report on it. Now, this is kind of what I'm getting at. I want to know if that's true. Is that true? Is Nomika Kant's writing speeches for politicians and then covering those same politicians that she herself wrote a speech for? I've argued that the thing with Justice Democrats is problematic because it's you're essentially putting a dog in the hunt and then you're giving political commentary on the hunt itself that you have a dog invested in. In this case, we have a journalist who is potentially writing stories and then doing quote unquote journalism on the stories that she herself wrote. Slightly weird. Slightly weird. I, I am more curious if, if that's true. How can you cover politics if you yourself are assisting some of the politicians that you're covering. That's all. I, I, I'm, I would like an answer. I'm not going to keep this video long. I want this video to be very specific. Is this part true? Is Nomika Kant's writing articles or writing speeches for some of the politicians, meaning she has such a dog in the hunt that she is writing a speech for those politicians, and then turning around, turning around and covering the politicians that she herself is guiding? I will leave the question at that. The question lingers like a bad smell. I am curious about this. I am curious about this. All right, I'll leave it at that. All right, guys, if you enjoy the content, feel free to share, like, subscribe, and of course, you can always support through Patreon. And I do want to answer to that, by the way. She's not going to answer. I do want to answer. Thanks, guys.